Okay, good. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead. What uh, what chapter you want to talk about? Oh, uh, graphs or power functions. Um, it would be good if you can share some some question because it's quite a, a big topic. So um, yeah. Um, I you, don't have any questions. Cause can you repeat the uh the the, the uh, topic name? Um, graphs of power functions. You mean graphs of power function? Yeah. Is it an EMF or AMF uh, topic? Uh, EMF. Okay, so my understanding of this is you have to learn how to uh, draw or sketch sketch um, a quadratic equation or you need to be able to draw this cubic function. That's my understanding of uh, graphs of power function. Okay, that's why uh, it would be good if you can share with me um, some of your materials so I can um, look into the question and then we start from there. I don't have any questions because mm. for school they only like explain. Yeah, so yeah, okay. can, I ask, can I ask you to go to your school? So you have learned these materials, right? Can you share your screen? Yeah. I just look at one of the materials. Uh, then I will start from there. I uh, just let make me sure. Open the... Yeah, I just want to make sure my understanding of this one is is this. Okay. Um. Can you um? Of course, I want to share, but then they say that yeah. you are sharing this. Go ahead. You see my screen? Yeah, very good. <clears throat> Go ahead. Mm. Okay. Yeah, please start. It looks something like that. Mm. Equation of power function. So a power function has the form where both k and n are real. Okay. So equation of, so basically x to the power of 0, x to the power of 1, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 3, minus 1. Okay, I got it. Yes. I got it already. Okay. Yeah. So my understanding is correct. Okay. So this is the, the one you want to talk about today, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Because it's very confusing. Yeah. No problem. Just, just this table, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Let me. Um, uh, no, no. No, just this table, but like, because the mm. whole chapter. Never mind. So, wait, hold on. Uh. You look at your one hand side. You, you see your right hand side, right? The one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's look at it uh, one by one. So, uh, graph yeah. of the form y equals to kx to okay. power 3. So, this is a cubic, right? No, you don't have to click on it. You just go yeah. through it. Okay? So, if you look okay. at number 2, graphs of the form y equals to, k to kx to power 3. So, this is a cubic, right? Am I right? Yeah. X to the power of 3. And then your number 3. Graphs of the form y equals to k over x. So this is the x to the power of minus 1. Am I right? Number 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Please please point your arrow to... Okay, you give me control. Yeah. You give me... I request control. You give me control. Then you release your mouse, please. I did. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, can you see my, my arrow is pointing at uh, two graphs of the form y equals to kx to power 3? Okay, no there. Um, yeah, can you see? I'm clicking on, uh, yeah, that side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah I can okay. see. Okay, go. So, stop at there. Don't move. Stop at there. Okay, stop at there. Don't move. Just release your mouse. So, number 3 is graphs of the form y equals to k over x. So, this is K x to the power negative one. Am I right? Yeah. Now, so continue. Uh, number four, 
graphs of the form y equals to k over x to the power of 2. So that means this is x to the power of negative 2. Am I right? Yeah. Ah, okay, so that means this chapter is all about what? This chapter is all about x to the power of positive number and x to the power of negative number. Okay? Oh, okay. okay, okay. And then of course, okay, uh, yeah, so I, I understand what you are doing, uh, what we need to talk about today. So right now, let me stop your sharing. I will uh, share from my side. All right. Okay, so let me share from my side. Okay, like I say, right, graphs of power function. So, uh, so basically, um, what you need to, what you need to know is, uh, you need to know um, how to graph this. You need to know how to graph this um, function. Okay, so basically, in this case, k is a constant. Okay, k is a constant. So um, it can be three. I mean, it can be two, three, negative one, and things like that, okay? And then n is, is real numbers. Oh, can I ask what does it mean by real numbers? Ah, so I will give you an example. So n is a real number. So it can be what? It can be negative one, it can be zero, and it can be one. And then of course it can be two or so, right? So dot dot dot, okay? So that means given, given this, given this, you have to know how to graph the function, okay? So let, let's start with one example. So let's start with this first. Y equals to k, uh, no, let's not, let's not play with k first. Let's just play with x to the power negative one, right? Okay? So Y equals to x to the negative one. So what you need to do, how do you, how do you graph a function? What did we talk about last time? You give yourself a table, right? Yeah, then you uh, replace x with the number. Correct. So um the, the important thing is you need you want to test both the, the the negative and the positive side. Right? Okay. Uh, so uh negative one, zero and one. Okay? So um it's good to have more numbers, but I think three numbers are Sometimes three numbers are sufficient. If it's not sufficient, you just add, just uh, give yourself more, okay? So let's see. So can you help me out? If you input minus one into X, what do you get? Minus um, one. So what do you get? Minus one. Uh, you get minus one, right? Uh, okay. Then uh, after you, you key in your zero, you get zero, right? Yeah, zero. No, math error. Math error, right? Math error, yeah. huh? Okay, very good. So, not zero, huh? Because it's one over zero. So, um, no solution. There is no answer, huh? Then what about uh, your y equals to, y equals to one to the power of negative one? Is it one? Yeah, one. Okay, good. Okay, so, Seems like I need more numbers, okay? So what about two? I should get half, right? Okay? Yeah. Yes. Then what about negative two? I get negative half, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So with this, then I can actually establish a table, right? So let me establish this table first. So negative one is negative one. This one is no 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 answer or no solution. And then of course this is one. Okay? So of course I can actually add some more to it. So this is two, so it's point five. So this is a negative two, this is negative point five. So what's the so basically with this then you can start to sketch. Okay? So when you sketch, um then let me erase this first. Then I get space to uh, sketch. So you should know that you should test the negative side 
and then you also should next test the positive side and of course you test the zero as well so with this then you can actually start to so this is your zero and then this is your one and then this is your two in a negative one and then this is your negative two okay so when it's zero no solution but it's one is one so let's say here's one here's two so let's say this is negative one and then of course this is negative two so when it's one is one and then when negative one is is negative one right yeah okay no, no, no. Oh, yes no. am i right this part yeah mm. so negative two is negative half so negative two is negative half so it's somewhere here <laughs> ah, so it's negative half it's here somewhere here okay somewhere here so for this when it's two so it's half so it's somewhere here okay so it seems like we still we still don't have enough points to show us what is the trend like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert one more so it's 0.5 what do i get uh let me check yeah let me let me check it out two ah two okay good so i get two okay so when it's 0.5 i get two ah okay good so that means i start to know the trend for this for the positive side so if you link it up you're supposed to get a curve so it is supposed to look like this for the positive side okay okay so for this negative side let me test negative half so what do i get for this negative half it should be negative uh, two, right yes negative two ah so it's somewhere somewhere here so somewhere here okay yeah so i i, I get the, the trend already okay yeah so basically this is our y equals to x to about maybe one or one of x so so far so good yeah. okay so um with this understanding right uh with this understanding so let me put a two in front so now i so this one is without the constant k right so now let me put in a two in front so see how this change the curve okay now i put a two in front okay so if i put a two in front right all this the y right the y will lead to times two throughout am i right yeah. ah, so this one times two i get negative one this one will be negative two this one will be negative four right then zero is still no answer then this one will be four then this one will be two and this one be one okay good ah so with all these numbers then i can start to sketch my graph also okay so uh when it's one it's, it's supposed to be two so let me just oh probably i i can use another color because oh sorry Okay, let me share again. Sorry. Can you see my screen? No. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, let me share. Huh? Can you see my screen now? Mm, let's come back to this. Okay. So. I I wait, wait, I cannot see the screen. Mm, let me share again then. Okay, can see it. Can see it. Okay. Yep. It takes it takes a bit of time to uh refresh okay so we are talking about what what if we have a two right okay so we have the table uh established yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so this is the table okay this is the table with um uh, two as a constant okay wait let me save this before i continue so i save under this so this is graph okay good so uh when it's zero no answer when it's 0.5 
So let me get this skill first. So it's 0.5 is 4. So it means it should be somewhere on top here. Okay. So let me change the scale for this to accommodate bigger numbers. Okay, so it's half is four, whereas one is two. So it's two with one. So, so, it's, so basically the shape is generally the same. All right, the shape is generally the same, right? Yeah, yeah. So what has changed? The graph became bigger, larger. Okay, so just now, just now, if you look at it, look at it. So this one is 0.5 is 2, 1 is 1. Okay, so 0.5 is 2, 1 is 1. So let me go, 0.5 is 2, 1 is 1. So it means 1 is 1 is 0. Okay, so just now the curve looks like this. So what's the difference? The difference is, if you have a two here, right? Can you see that the slope is actually, the slope is actually steeper. So do I call that the, the graph is larger or smaller? Not, not larger or smaller. The slope or the gradient is, is steeper. This one is more, gen, more gentle. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So actually I can also go, okay, there is this, there is this uh, website. Is good for you to um to know decimals. You can just key in oh, any yeah, know. you know right. So to for graph question right is a very good is a this this website provides a very good uh, tool for you. Okay, provides a very good tool for you. Can you see this one? The slope is like this, very very steep. Steep means very deep lah. Oh. so if you change if you don't have the tool right. Okay, you can start to see the effect. You want to see the effect even more, right? You see, when it's 12, right? Can you see? It's a, more away from the zero, which is the origin. When without the 12, right? It's closer to the zero. Okay? But okay. the whole point, the whole point here is not about uh, whether it's more away from the zero or it's closer to the zero. The whole point here is you need to be able to graph. How you graph it? Okay. by establishing a table okay by establishing this table okay okay once you establish table then just graph it accordingly okay 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 so if you can manage with a negative one so right now let's try a two okay so my understanding is curve. Yeah, it's a curve, definitely it's a projective curve. Hold on, uh, let me let me save this and then I open this again. There is a lag, I realize. Mm. Okay, good. Okay, so this one should look like this. Okay. 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 I, I don't have to uh, step you the table because this is a uh, so called the uh, general curve. You can actually go ahead and establish the curve. So it's negative one is one. When it's zero is zero. When it's one is one. So that's why. When it's negative, one is one. So when it's one is also one. So these are the three points I need to curve this y equals to x bar two. So you can actually put in the effect. <clears throat> so uh, we play with uh, positive two just now, right? So let's try out a negative two. Okay. Let's try out a negative two. Okay. So if I try out a negative two, right? The table will be what? Your y will need to times negative two. So one times negative two is negative two. Zero is still zero. One is negative two. Am I right? So. Um, no, 
Huh? If x is minus 1, then y should be positive 2. Hey, hold on. I got the negative 2 here. Yeah, negative 2 times negative 1, 2, y. No, negative 1 bracket. Bracket. Negative 1 bracket inside. Oh, because okay. got square. How, how, can you okay, make, okay. how can you make this ceiling instead again? Oh, okay. okay, so okay, yeah. so <coughs> let's graph it. So let me graph this uh this this table. So you can see negative one is negative two, right? So it's somewhere here, zero is zero, one is negative two. So can you see? Yeah. yeah. So it is a reflection. Okay. And the line of reflection is your x-axis. Okay? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So so that means I think I have covered um I have covered what? With these two examples, I have covered I have covered K is either negative or positive. And then I have also covered N is either positive or negative. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So how to graph uh, this power function establish a table. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. And then of course, of course, I would like to um, give it um give you give you another example okay i'm gonna give you another example given this all right so let me erase this for for square is it no so what i want to do is i want to insert one more term which is plus one so how how the question i mean how the graph will look like if i add in plus one okay so if you have a plus one, right? What what you get is your entire curve will go up by one unit. Okay. What do I mean by that? So if you're starting, let me make, make it smaller first. Okay. If your this starting is this, right? If you have a plus one, so your curve will move up by one unit for every point. Yeah, that's it. So this is one, and then this is your y equals to minus two x squared plus one. This will be your y equals to minus two x squared. Okay, of course, you are supposed to what? You are supposed to indicate this point also. Okay? Okay, if you are asked to uh, draw the two graphs on the same x and y axis, yeah, so these are the two graphs. Okay, of course, for, the, for this, you have to indicate this point. So this point is... Um, the y the y coordinate is always zero, so then you have to do what? You have to solve this projective equation, which I'm not going to solve here because for projective equation you should know what to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, in fact, I have further further um this graph of power function. Not only not only I introduce this k, I introduce one more term, okay, plus one. So what is the effect if I have minus one? If plus one is, yes. So if plus one is up by one unit, right, minus one will be down by one unit, okay? So very simple, okay? Okay, so um, can, you, can you share your screen?
I want I want to look at there must be some examples um for your materials. So I want to look at some of the examples there, and I'll just take one example and uh, we discuss that example. Um, I think there's still one more the the uh, cube. Or cubic. Can we talk about the cube? Good. Uh, cubic is actually the same technique, lah. Never mind. Let me demo demo to you. Um, um, with a cube. Let me demo to you. Okay. So, whether it's a cubic or I mean whether it's a square or linear, the same thing. Establish a table. Let's start with uh, x cube first. Okay. So if this is a x square, right? Let's say this is the x square, uh, which we know just now. Okay. So x cube establish a table. Okay. X y negative one zero and one. So when it's negative one, I think you get negative one zero and zero. One is one. Yeah. So when it's negative one, it's negative one. So somewhere here. So. Uh, this is negative one. This is zero. This is one. So this is one. Yeah. So this is x square. Okay. Now I'm going to sketch uh, x to power three. So when it's zero is still zero. And then when it's uh, negative one, I get negative one. So negative one is here. Okay. And then it was one is one. Okay, seems like we don't have enough coordinates. Okay, so let's have more coordinates so that we can see the trend. Okay, so it's two, I get eight, right? So when it's two, I get eight. Eight should be quite high somewhere here already. Okay, so the trend is what? The trend is this. So then, of course, I want to have a negative 2, so I get negative 8. So similarly, so negative 2, I get negative 8, so it's somewhere very far away. So, yeah, so oh. it looks something like this. So if it's negative, okay. then it's the other way. Okay, okay, so okay. what I'm trying to say is <clears throat> this is the general, this is the general. Um, um, graph of x to power 3. Okay, so how do I get this? By establishing a table. Okay, of course your, your teacher might ask you to memorize the shape, uh, which I don't recommend, because you memorize, you forget. Okay, I want you to um, know how to graph it on the spot. You might take a bit of time, but definitely you will not forget, right? Okay. okay, Can so let me also add in a constant k and see how it will affect, okay, see how it will affect. So this is my y equals to x to the power of 3, okay, so let me add in a constant 2, see how it affects. So when it's 2, right, what it means is all this number here need to times 2. Okay. Ah. So it means I should get when x is negative 2, I should get negative 16. When it's negative 1, I should get negative 2. 0 is still 0. 1 is 2. 2 is 16. Okay? So, if I plot it somewhere here, it just shows what? It just shows x is still x. I mean 0 is still 0. 1 is 2. So, when it's 1, it's only, it, it goes to 2 already. And then when it's 2, right, it goes to 16. So, basically, it's higher. So, basically, what you see is you will see that this this will be more steep. Okay. Okay. And then of course here is similarly it will be more steep. Okay. That's the effect of the two. Okay. If if you have to play with two, negative two, three, half, what you do? Go to decimals. Go to decimals, change it, then you can see the effect very fast. Okay, so this is the common one, x to the power of 3, this is common one, so if you want to have a 5, so what, can you see the effect without the 5? Mm -hmm. If you want to be more extreme, like t in 100, uh, 100 it will be like very close to the y-axis, right? If without the 100, yeah. then it will start to 
go away from the y-axis. But the point here is not about... Mm, yes? How about negative? Uh, negative, it will, negative, it will flip all the... Just now, what is, what's the effect of negative 2? It will flip along the x-axis, right? Yeah. Reflection. So same thing. If you if you negative it, okay. So you start with this, right? So if you negative it, ah, so you flip. Uh, your this just now just now just now is here, right? So you flip to down. So here just now is below, right? Now you flip up. Uh. Okay. So yes, um, I got. Yeah. Go ahead. I have one more question, like, cause in the package you got say like the Which position, um, uh, the graph like they say got position like first or second or third. Yeah, I don't really understand how. Can you share ends. the materials? You share the materials. Uh, we look closer into it. Let me find the. Okay. Mm. Okay. Ah, this is extra part ninety one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Quadrants. Okay, so uh, let's see. So from the above, I think you would have observed that when K is uh, which one you may, you want me to look at? This one, right? Uh, okay. One. Stop there first, huh? So from the above activity, yeah, stop here. Don't 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 move, huh? You would have observed yeah. that when when k is uh, bigger than zero, so that means we are talking about what? When the k is a positive number, which is two, uh. So the graph of lies in the first and the third quadrant. So you don't have to care about it. Why? Because okay, let me let me also uh, uh notate on your this slide so later I can clear also. Basically, you are talking about this 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 one right lies in the first and I mean the first and the third quadrant right. So what it means yeah. is like basically the curve looks like this huh? because if you look at the quadrant right, what it means is this is your first quadrant, this is your second, and then this is your third, and then this is your fourth. And and you don't have to know uh, which quadrant it falls into because like I say, you don't need to memorize it. What you do, you establish a table. You will get it, okay? Okay. You you don't memorize. Oh, k bigger than zero. Ah, uh, then therefore is in the, uh, first quadrant and the third quadrant. That's by memorization. That's why I say, uh, your teacher might want you to memorize it, but for me, I don't want you to memorize because you memorize, you forget. So I want you to establish the table, and then naturally you will get the correct one, right? So then another way is when k is smaller than zero, right? Just now what you see the effect, the effect is this. The effect is, you will flip, you will flip the three and the one with x as the reflection line. So you flip this, and then this one you flip. So basically this one go to this, this one go to this. That will be the effect of k is smaller than zero okay this one is k bigger than zero make sense okay ah. okay wait, wait. of course the first and third quadrant right what they want you to know is they want you to memorize okay okay Anything else from this uh this uh chapter? Uh, for this chapter no, but for AMF I got some question. Yeah, you have materials, you can share that one. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you continue to share yeah. on your this. Mm. Let me clear this also. Yeah, clear it. Mm. It's um, on binomial because mm. I find that because mm. um, when my 
my teacher is teaching she always like yeah. I don't really understand but mm. I just want to ask if like it's like something like that but then using a which question? You mean this question? Yeah, it's like on this topic. Like yeah, sure. So which question you want to stop at? Then we look at that question. Uh, question two? Uh, question one. Question one or two? Mm, question one. Oh, question one. Okay, stop at here, right? The answer is 63386, yeah. six, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's... Okay, so what what you don't understand about this question then? Yeah. My teacher, she he thought in a way, um, mm. like a formula way, but then he yeah. teach me is like, open the bracket and you find yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, very confusing. Mm. So they want the eight, eighth term, right? Okay. So, okay, let's use my method first, okay? Let's use my method first, see if we can get the answer, okay? So, they say they want the eighth term, right, in the expansion of this. So, by the way, I think uh, this question, I think there must be some uh, default, uh, meaning whether they want you to be in a descending order or ascending order. They have to, um, I think they have to spell out, uh, okay? You know what I mean, right? If they, they don't if they don't spell out descending or ascending, right, then there is a problem because if it's descending, right, so that means the first one will be x to the power of 12, right? That this is the first, okay? For descending. For ascending, the first one will be x to the power of 0. Okay? Hold on, huh? Okay? So that means this thing is what I want you to clarify with your teacher. So when they want the eighth term, right? Do they want the X? I mean, did the default is actually is ascending or descending? If they never tell you. So what's the default? Okay. So, okay. Let me assume, let me assume it's ascending first. In this case, let me assume it's ascending. Okay. That means okay. they want what? They want the x to the power of 7. That will be the 8th term. Right? Am I right? Yeah. Ah, so that means basically you need to find the x to the power of 7 term. So how do you find the x to the power of 7 term? So what you do? You give yourself 3 brackets. Okay? So over here, you fill it up with 12 first because that's the power. So this one you fill up with the 4, which is the first first term inside the bracket. And then this one you fill up with x to the power, I mean x over 2, which is this. Okay? Ah, then now it's easy. They want the x to the power 7 term, right? Ah, then you put a 7 here. If you put a 7 here, I think you get 5 here, right? And then after that, your 7 is here. Ah, that's all. So all you need to do is simplify this. Please help me out. See what you get. Okay. Yeah, tell me up. See what you get. Uh, for first one, I got seven by two. Seven. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch. Okay, seven by two. Very good. Seven by two. Four to four five. Then. Um, one zero two four. Two to the power seven. What is two to the power seven? Four one two eight. One two eight is it? Okay. Ah, so what you need to do is you just need to simplify this and see what you get. With the x over seven, x to the power of seven. Uh, no, not uh, no. They want the coefficient, right? So I, oh, okay. I, only, I only care about the the one in front of uh, this part. 
So can I ask why do you like one to do? Pardon? So can I ask why do you like one to do? Uh, I didn't catch you. Not clear enough. Sorry. Uh, can I ask why do you divide by one to do? Two to power seven, right? So if there's a divide sign, you have to divide the whole thing. No, wait, wait, wait. It's not about divide or times. What, okay. This part gives you 7, 7, 9, 2, right? And then this part, 4 to the power of 5, gives you... 4 to the power of 5 is 1, 0, 2, 4, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, 4 to the power of 5 is 1, 0, 2, 4. Then for this term, what do you get? You get x to the power of 7, and then 2 to the power of 7, right? And then 2 to the power of 7, 7 is 1, 2, 8, right? Just now you told me. That's why I put it below. Divide, divide by one to eight. Let me let me make it. This is this is hold on. Uh. Let me erase this first. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so that means this this part I already changed it to this. Okay. Ah, now I'm left with what? So 12 through 7, just now you say it's 792, right? Yeah. Ah. So 4 to the power of 5 is 1024, right? You say? Yes. Ah, so I just copy. Okay. 2 to the power 7 is what? 128, is it? Yeah, ah, okay. That's why, no? So now your, your yeah, focus yeah. will be this, huh? this one will be the coefficient. So what do you get? Oh, okay. So what do you get? I get 6336. Three, three, six. Ah, okay. So that means my, my assumption is correct. Ah. They are talking about ascend, uh, ascending. So that means the default is always ascending. Ah, if they never tell you to go descending. Okay. Okay. Can I ask when there's a fraction? Ah, some which one? X divided. Like for this question, ah. X divided by something. Ah. You have to like divide the whole thing. No, wait, wait, wait. This, this times this. This top oh. times top. Bottom times bottom. Right? So can you see that your, your, I mean, your numerator is all this. Let me use a different color. This is your numerator. And then this is your denominator. Okay? It's not like, oh, I have a fraction, that's why it's like that. No. It's because numerator times numerator, uh, denominator times denominator. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, I think your way is easier. Huh? I think your way is easier. Yeah, exactly. That oh, that's the reason why I don't I don't prefer your so called textbook method. Okay. That one is uh, a bit com a bit complicated, it's hard to digest also. Okay. Um, but can I ask if I use your method in exam? Ah. Is it like, is it allowed? Cause, cause if they say like there's no formula, then what? Like, mm. No, it's a, actually hard. okay. Wait, I'm actually using the formula already, but I want to. I want you to use the. Okay, you see ah. Uh, um, you are actually using the formula, but I make it as if you never use. I, I make it as if. You don't realize you are using the formula, you know. Okay. Ah, uh, you're actually using the formula already. The the way uh, the way we have the three brackets, and then the way you fill up all this, we are actually using the formula already. But I just make it make you feel like you you have not used the formula, but actually you are using. You know, I want to make it so easy that you don't feel like oh you are actually using a very complicated formula which your school make it so complicated la. make you feel like oh my god i need to use this complicated formula you know 
Yeah. Uh, so this okay. method is actually through experience. Then I try to make it simpler for students to understand. Okay? Okay. Mm. Then I got one more question. Mm. Uh, can I move the thing? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's about independent or something. Independent, that means the x to the power of zero. Wait, 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 let me find. Oh yeah, and this one, what is the Which one? exclamation mark? This one? You mean this one, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, stop here first. So we have learned that the function term can be can be computed using a calculator, which is which yeah. So this one this one means let's say we have uh let's say we have a uh, let me change the color. So let's say we have four work uh four choose two. Uh. <coughs> okay, so what you what you key in is actually uh into your calculator is four choose two. Uh. Okay, so this is the the, the calculator. Um, how, how you punch into the calculator. So now, they don't want you to use the calculator, right? They want you to use this formula, right? So you just follow formula. Lah. Okay? So, so they miss, they want the exclamation mark also in your calculator, is it? Ah, so the, there is an exclamation mark in the calculator. So, but I mean, Okay, so, but that one is also use calculator, right? Ah, so three, six, no la, let, you, let me try first ah. Huh? So two, right? So that means your n is six. So your r is two. So let me replace first. Ah, okay, let me simplify. So that means you have six exclamation mark. By the way, this is called fact. Okay, exclamation mark, right? In mathematics, it's called factorial. Fact. Factorial. Okay. Okay. So let me continue. So I have two factorial. And then this is four factorial. Because six minus two, right? Okay. So if I have, let's say I have five factorial, right? What it means is, what it means is, you start with 5, and then you times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. You stop. So if you have 6 oh. factorial, right? So what it means is, you use 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So in between is all times. Huh? So below is 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So four factorial is four three four three two one. And then you can see this four three two one is all cancelled. So basically you end up with what? Six times five, thirty. Then two times one is two. Oh they don't want you to simplify, is it? They just want you to stop at here, right? But actually I only simplify it to fifteen already. That means if they want you to simplify, then you get this. Uh. If they want you to have the final answer, then it's 15. Okay? Okay. Mm. okay? So that means I explain further than this question. So for this one, mm. does it have all level? Yes. Yes. So there will be in paper one? No. It can be, no. They, they will not test you like this. This, is, this question is too easy already. They will combine with other other stuff. Okay. Yeah. This one is too easy already. Okay? Yeah. Mm. Um then can I look yeah. at the independent question? Yeah, I need to go and find it. Huh? Um the independent Ah, go ahead. Independent. I think we have one question on independent term also. I remember. I remember uh, one of le one of our lessons independent. Yeah, yeah. Here already question two. I see the factorial. They mentioned about it. Yeah, just now. Just now I see your question two is about factorial. They explain eh? over here given that. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, but this one is like very complicated. Yeah, stop, yeah, stop here first. You stop here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stop already. You want a question? No, I am. Because I'm looking at the question. Already. I'm looking at the question already. So it says okay. independent of x. Okay. So means x to power zero. Okay. X independent of x means x to power zero. Thumb. So what you do? Simple. Three bracket. Okay, then fill your first bracket with 9 over something, a uh, 9 through something, all right? Then this one will be, will be filled by the second, I mean the first term. Then this will be filled by minus x, okay? So this is your first term, this is your second term, all right? So I fill it with, I fill it here already, okay? This is what we have been talking about, huh? three bracket, fill it up first. Now they want, x to the power of zero. So that means, you know, right? The, you need to put something here and then something here such that it will give you what? x to the power of zero. Then you test. How do you test? Let me test with a three. So if I put a three here, I get six here, right? Wow, I'm so lucky. Just one trial, I can get the answer already. Yeah, so this is the this is the answer. Okay, yeah. so nine two six. And then I simplify this, so I get one. So below I get uh eight x to the power six. Then here I got minus x to the power six. Can you see that this one and this one cancel each other? Ah, so I don't have x. Already. So all I need to do is help me out. Nine choose six. What is nine choose six? Twenty-four. Twenty-four is it? Eighty-four. 84. Uh, eighty-four. Then the second term I get one over eight. Ah, uh, I get negative one. Ah, uh, so this 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 will give you the answer already. Then what if you are not so lucky then? Then you test, test until you are lucky. So let's say they want x to the power two term. Uh, then you test. You test, basically, basically how you test, you test one, this has to be eight. You test two, this has to be seven. Then three, then six, then four, five. By the way, there are not many you, you can test. Uh. Okay. So it's just testing. A smart test, smart test. As you do more, yes, right? You, yeah. As you do more, then you are very sensitive to it. Then uh, it's called a smart, smart, smart test, uh, smart guess. You know? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So this question is uh done by this way. Okay. One more question, mm, Sure. Assignment. Ah, you can also go to the Google assignment, right? Yeah. Mm, please go, since you are sharing your screen already. But I don't have my answer. I'll answer with you. Uh, I thought every time you, you finish, you, you get a email telling you your score, right? Then that's where you get your feedback, right? Got it. Yes. Are you asked? Are you asked for, for to key in your email for your assignment? Yeah. Mm. Then that's the one. Yeah, I got the key. Yeah. Mm. It's loading. Mm. It's loading. Huh? Mm. By the way, every assignment should should request uh, your email. Lah. Oh, I need to change my email account. Why? Because I want to email. Oh, okay. Up to you. Lah.
seems like your internet is a bit slow uh, over there. Yeah, very slow. Why? Uh? <laughs> okay. It's still loading, is it? No. I don't have here. Mm. Cannot be. Okay, never mind. Then let me share. Hmm. Where I I stop you from sharing, ah. Uh. I will share. Yeah, so. Math 2, right? Math 4, I think. Math 4. Let me see. Okay, this is the one. Mm. Okay, so. Uh, first attempt, second attempt. Oh, this is the second attempt. So, should I, should I look at uh, which attempt should I look at? I think the first one, because the second one is the other one. Oh, okay. First one. Okay, by the way, this one is LCM. Okay. Yeah, I, I think my answer is correct. Yeah, so it's okay. Just find the LCM and then uh, just add, add to this time. Oh, the, the, the method is more important than the answer. Okay, but yeah, good. Next. Uh, this part, the line L is parallel to this. Uh, so for this question, let me just write on here. I note it. Yeah. So for this question, the line L is parallel to this. So what it means is change this to this format. What's the meaning of parallel? That means the gradient is the same. Okay. Do you think the gradient is huh? positive? What are you talking about? The gradient is this one. Oh yeah, my uh, So so that's why for the line, for the line, right, the gradient is also minus three. Then it says given that the L passes through the point three and five. Uh, so you sub in your three and five into it. Then you find your C. Okay, so looks like your C is what? Four. Or no, this is minus nine. So you need a plus C to get five. So it's 14. So your C is 14. Okay, C is 14. So with this, uh, then you can get your this equation. Then after that, then you can find your find the whatever you are asked to find. So it says what? Uh, coordinate of where L meets the x-axis. X-axis means the y equals to zero. Uh, so y equals to zero. Uh, then this one. So it be three. Forty over three. So is forty over three equals to this four by four by six seven? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that means you are right. Okay. But next, uh, find the equation of the normal to the line. Ah, so if normal, right? So this one times that gradient will give you negative one. So it means m equals to for the normal is one third. Okay. Normal. Yeah, normal, normal. Normal means normal. this one times the gradient of it should be negative one. Okay, Yeah. Then after that, so the gradient of the normal, so gradient of normal, you write it like this, M, N, so it goes to one third. Okay? So normal means perpendicular. Yes. We talk about it last lesson, right? Yes. So, yeah, so the equation should be Y equals to So at least I should say Y equals to one third X, uh, then for the C, then you have to find. But at least your this gradient should be one third. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's move on. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Mouse. Hold on. Uh, find the range of values. Ah, uh, this one should be very easy already. Lies entirely below. So what you do? So you just do this. I changed the question a bit. Uh, I hope you realize. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so entirely below y equals to one. Uh, so you equate to one first, and uh, then you put the one over. So it's this. Before you, you key in your, your this uh, Entirely below, so no no solution, right? So discriminant is more than zero. Okay. So you choose your A, B, C. So your C in this case is minus six, not minus five, because of this below y equals to one. Okay. Okay. So this this is the 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 the, the C is different in this case. The rest is still the same. Okay, uh, then you just key in, then you, you solve the inequality. Okay, okay. Okay, th this one is the easiest, la. 7a, easiest. Okay, you are correct actually. Okay, good, next. This question is link, find the intersection point. Uh, how to find intersection point? So you just equate to solve. Solve the equation one and two together. Yeah, simultaneous yeah, equation. I, I equate, yeah, I yeah. You see? Solve simultaneous equation. Okay. Wait, so if, if, if my answer correct. Solve simultaneous equation. Let me see the two equations. Yeah. So first you find your m first, right? So basically you have two basically you have this. So basically, you have two sets uh, because your M, you have two answers, right? So you have two sets. Uh. Okay, this is your equation one, and then this is your equation two. Okay, and then you have another set. Uh, which is uh, 10. Your equation two is still the same. Okay, so you solve this, and then you solve this. Uh, equation two, I will change the 10. Eh? Two, you don't have to change, right? Because uh, it never affect, so your this is, it affects your M only, right? Am I right? Oh. Ah. It, it doesn't affect your this, <coughs> your two at all. Okay, so you, you solve two set of um, simultaneous equations. Okay. Then, then, then you get x. So then, then, then you get, you get x and y. Lo. Then over here you also get x and y. Lo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the last two questions. Ah, this one, this one, ah, this question mark on the Cartesian coordinate. I think the help, the help is actually helping you a lot, right? Did you look at the help? Ah, I think I did look at the help, ah. but it's another different question. Yeah, so it's similar. Of course, I don't give you, um, I don't give you an exact question, but it's similar. So for this question, right, very simple. What you need to do is you just get your ABC out. This is your A. One and four. And then you get your B, one and two. And you get your C, minus three and minus two. So. Okay. Then after that, find the gradient of AC. How to find gradient? The formula is? Y1. Ah, correct. Okay. Basically, I want to test you on this thing. Okay. So if you have used this, then you should be able to get the gradient. 
find the equation of the straight line passing through B, which is here, and with the same gradient of AC, so basically, you already have the gradient here, right? So what you do is your Y equals to, so it looks like your gradient is what? Three, right? So I get three X plus a C. So it says it passed through this point, right? So what it means is your this point is one and two. Uh, so you put your one into it, you put your two into it, and then you can find your C. Okay, so three, so C should be minus one. Very good, I see the equation. Okay, very good, these two are correct. Then find the leg A, B, and uh, B, C. A, B, and B, C. Do you know that there is a formula for finding the length? No. So to find the length of uh, AC, right, the formula is square root, you know, x1 minus x2, you know, square. Can you remember this, this formula? If not, then that means you haven't uh, watched that help. Okay, this is the formula. It's a bit hard to write here, I don't know why. Okay, so this is the formula to find length. Okay, so you just sub in your x1, y1, x2, y2. Then you get the part C. Okay. Part D, show that ABC is 90 degrees. Very simple one. You already got the length of all this, right? You need to show this is 90 ABC, yeah, 90 degree. Use sine rule, cosine rule. 90 degree, what it means? Tokaso. You got the length of this, you got the length of this. So, or rather, you need to find that if this is 90 degree, that means you can use A square plus B square equals to C square, you know. Hadagos theorem. Okay, yeah, Pythagoras theorem. If the Pythagoras theorem is valid, right, that means this is 90. Okay. And then find the area. Uh, mm -hmm. Area is easy already, just base and the height, half. Right? All right? Am I right now? Right. Yeah, okay. So that means the Part D here, right, to test for 90 degree, you make use of Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Or you can also use Tokaso. La. So this is your A and this is your H. So that means cosine, you, you cosine this angle. Uh, let me see. Uh, you can also use uh, sine rule, you know, sine this or cosine, you know, play with it. Okay. Okay. Ah. Ah, this is the one. one yeah, this one is the one you asked me about that that what the R boy to men guy um what bearing <laughs> and then what equidistant, you know. That's why I want to take this opportunity to talk about this uh but looks like uh we yeah, we are a bit running out of time now. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Another thing I want to uh say is, yeah, your mom, your mom says you put in a lot of effort, which of course we appreciate it a lot. But on another note, right, I want to like um tell you is, um, putting effort is good, but um, try to um work smart. Okay, so that you you need not put so much effort but your results you can progress uh, faster okay so what i'm suggesting going forward is um of course i don't mind uh, having a one hour lesson then that means we have two lessons per week but as you have more lessons right it seems like your time is um well i say your time is you you, you seems like you have lessons every day you know you will feel you will feel you are so full. You, do you feel that? Uh, do, you, do you feel that? I, no, wait, do you, do you feel that? Not really. Not really, uh, okay. So that means you are okay to have um, daily lessons, like whether from your school or from our side, or my side or something. Of course it's 
changed to one hour, although like the number of lessons mm. increased, but the hour decreases. So like, mm. uh, I prefer this way because oh, okay. I have more time to. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, actually, I'm okay. more time to. You got more time to? I 